Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing GME. This stock gapped up today. I did not trade this. I'm not going to trade it. It's very dangerous to trade stocks that uh, get halted, and this has been halted like, let's count how many times today it's been halted, actually. Um, and it's not done getting halted either. There's the first halt. There's the second halt. There's the third halt. There's the fourth halt. So it was open for one minute and I halted it. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, nine times, it's been halted nine times. So what happens when a stock halts? They call it a circuit breaker, but typically, again, let's look at the whole big chart here. So this has been halted nine times, that's insane. So at one point today, the stock uh, was up at, the high today was 38.20. So that was $10 more than it was right now. But again, this is all hype from, um, from the Reddit traders and this is not something that I would ever trade. But again, the stock split here, this was two years ago. This was really up here and it almost got up to 500. You can't tell that from the numbers here, but this was a while ago. Stock split. And now it's trading here at 27 and change, but there were a lot of people that were long that lost money that bought in that rally back in 2021 from the big hype. So it never went back up to that high when that happened back in early 2021. And people had been holding shares of this for years actually. And today then with the gap up, people are hoping that it continues to run up, but they keep halting it. So typically when you have a halt, it usually happens in something when it's down. So they're saying circuit breaker, but in my opinion here, they're trying to get a hold, they're trying to control what's happening on the trading of this here today in a way that I think is negatively impacting traders in the stock. And this is the type of thing that really frustrates people because they should just let the stock trade out here. It's not at zero. Typically when a stock is halted, and, and again, this is a rule, a stock could be halted if it's down more than 10%, but typically they halt a stock when it's falling because they don't want the stock to go to zero. You know, they want to control the selling, get a handle on the selling. In this case here, the stock was up in the day, it was rallying, and they were halting it as it was moving higher. So again, to have, you know, an hour and a half, less than an hour and a half uh, into the open here, to have nine halts, and most of them happen in the first 30 minutes, is not a good sign for this. And I think this gets halted again today or multiple more times today it could even get halted today where they don't even reopen it till close to the close um if it has another run up you can expect that to happen so if it runs up over 38 20 they're going to halt it again i guarantee you that's going to happen here again today so if it even wants to do that but uh typically circuit breakers happen when a stock is falling when a stock is down and they want to control it so that the stock doesn't completely go to zero on the day. I mean, so again, the exchange can do whatever it wants. And that's really what you're seeing happen here because they have halted this nine times and it's gonna halt again. So whether you're long or whether you're short in here, this is very dangerous because really there, a stock could halt and there's no guarantee. They don't have to even reopen it on the day. I'm not saying that's gonna happen here with this today. There would be an outcry if that would, but it could. I mean, if they keep halting it, halting it, halting it, halting it 20 more times here today, who knows? But again, this could very well sell off very hard now, and then they halt it because it is selling off. But initially today it was rallying, and the stock got halted multiple times in the rally. To me, again, I've traded many stocks that are up a lot, never got halted. We don't do things like this. I think this is not a good buy. 
I, I get why people are excited about these Reddit stocks. It's not my thing. I like to be in an environment where I have control over the situation, where I take the trade, I get filled when I want to get in, and I get filled when I want to get out, and I don't want to trade anything that could even have the chance of getting halted. Um, and we're trading things with lots of volume. Of course, this has a lot of volume today. Again, which begs the question, why would they hold it? Why would they hold it when it's up? So this is... This is causing a lot of controversy today, I'm absolutely sure, with many people that are in this that are retail traders. But we didn't do it. It doesn't make sense to do it. It's very dangerous. And again, I've seen this happen before in stocks, nothing that I've ever traded, where it could get halted on the live day and they don't reopen it that day. May reopen the next day. I've even heard horror stories from people where stock got halted and it never reopened. And I'm not saying that's going to happen here at all, but I'm saying know that it could. It's a free market here and they're halting it when they feel like it to get control of what's happening here. And I think that it should just trade out on its own. <laughs> and again, it's up, you know, I'm not buying this, but what's the problem here? The stock closed at 1746 and opened at 2634. You know, we did, uh, this is several years ago. We went long BYND, this has collapsed. This never got halted. They did not hold this. They didn't hold it once, let alone nine times. And again, that's not done being halted today. We were long this. It was a nice trade. This had, again, I don't know if you can see this here, some really nice extension here. Um, ran up here, ran up here. Again, this we were in this. We were in calls. It never got halted. Actually, even here. Closed here, gapped up here. This closed at 169 and change, opened up here, high was 201.88. This never got halted. This was up big, then sold off, never got halted. We did this too. We did this whole run up here. This is back 2019. This stock never got halted. So it's going to get halted again today. So please be careful if you're doing this. And if you are, I don't know why, because there's no strategy here. Again, I trade gaps. I trade bullish gaps and bearish gaps. This gap would not have rated good to go long here today based on my system. This is a wild card play that people are doing, thinking the stock's going to have another massive move up like it did back in 2021. There's no guarantee that's going to happen. There was no strategy at play at that time when it happened. Everybody jumped into um, that guy that did the video on YouTube and they just jumped into it and it worked out for some people that made a lot of money But more people lost in that trade and are still down in this trade back from 2021 that ever made money And again, there's no strategy to this whatsoever at all It is a wild card play and it certainly is for people that are trading this today with the way it's getting halted So I trade based on a strategy. I like to do things that have high odds of winning This is not a high odd trade today going long or short and you got to be very careful with the halt. But why are they halting it? You, you know, to get control of what's happening here. And you can have your own opinions on that. But it is unusual to see this in something that is up versus something that is down. Good luck, everybody. If you're interested in more information on learning how to trade my system on the Golden Gap, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.